Hi, my name's Rory Schlein. I'm the head trainer of the No Limits uh, Youth Program here. And we're here in Manchester at the National Speedway Stadium. It's uh, our third camp. And we've got 11 youngsters who we've selected uh, individually who are going to be given the tools uh, to use, you know, to help them progress through their career with, uh, obviously, with fitness, nutrition, sports psychology, business management, and uh, obviously with, with on-track stuff as well. Our first day got rained out, um, but we're here today and hopefully we can get on the track and uh, you know, put the lads through their paces. Today we're, we're pretty lucky, we've got Ty Wolfram in here today, so we did some video analysts with, with Ty, with Trackcraft, which was interesting and, and good for the lads because obviously you know, there's, no, there's, there's no one better than a two-time tour champion to tell you what, how it's done. So um, that was really good and uh, we'll be on the track in, uh, at about 2 o'clock for about two hours, doing some racing drills, some race craft, stuff like that. Uh, after that we'll be doing a, a short fitness test and I believe we'll be doing some injury pre prevention stuff as well with Paul Suggett. My name's Paul Suggetts, I'm the fitness and nutrition specialist for the No Limits Speedway Racing Team. Basically what I do is look after the, the fitness and nutrition for the lads, giving them the top level nutrition and fitness training to, to make them as, as best, best riders as they can be. The fitness is, is so important because the core strength we needed to be on the bike is, uh, is, is paramount really. And if we can install that from an early age, obviously they're going to have the, the foundations built ready so that is one less thing for them to have to worry about as they improve through the, through the ranks. Obviously it goes goes hand in hand the, the fitness is only as good as what the nutrition is um, so what we do is we we basically organize everything from uh, the hydration so we're looking at the uh, how hydrated they are which looks at their, their urine sample and to make sure that there is their reaction times are sharp and giving them as you know they've got as much energy as possible today's a little bit different because they've been riding so the the fitness side of it would be um, a racing warm-up so we look at engaging the muscles that they need for the for the training or for the riding they're going to be doing uh, making sure that the muscles are ready and the body's ready to to take on sort of a quite a sharp sport like Speedway is. The lunch is already planned and organized so what we do is we we make we know where we're going to be at what time so we organize the proper nutrition so that all helps and it's installing that information into the lads and what we're going to do in a minute is um, some physiotherapy and stretching and cooling down exercises and more of a, an injury rehab so each time we see the lads we're just giving them some information on how they can improve, um, so it could be some strength and conditioning plans and it could be some stretching plans and some physio and just giving them as all the tools that they need to be a world class rider. I, I can vouch that there's no other programme you know, in the world you know, for Speedway for this and it's difficult in all forms of sport to get someone like, especially like Ty, just to come down and help you know, a bunch of young lads and, and give a whole day up you know, um, for nothing. So it's, it's a programme that hopefully is going to grow um, and move on into the years to come. Not many things like this come around and it's pretty difficult to find something that will actually um, give you all the facilities and give you all the training and um, all the tips. By doing this it really helps a rider out, not just riding wise but all the other things behind the scenes. It doesn't usually come easy, you know, I mean you'd have to um, be really lucky to have someone like Ty Wuffman actually talk to you. So. By him coming along and helping us out, it's, it's really great of him to come along and it's, like I said, it's really, really cool to be able to, for him to talk to us how he is and giving us all the tips that he's learned over the years. My name is Ty Wolfenden and my role here today is to um, just come down and give the, give the young guys a little bit of advice. I've won a few world championships so there's a, a lot that they can learn from me and I've learned everything myself and, and done it the hard way so it's kind of nice to nice to be able to pass that on so that they don't have to make the same mistakes that I made. The stuff that we learned this morning was, um, or that we that we was talking about this morning is like just small minor details, you know, trying to improve one or two percent here and there, but if you do that, you know, 10 or 15 times, you, you're 10 to 15 percent better off. So, you know, marginal gains are really important at the level that I'm riding at, but, you know, the marginal gains that I've learnt about and understood for me to pass that forward to them you know and then be able to use that at an early level that they're at it gives them a better chance of, of finishing a lot higher in the sport in the future. The thing about our sport is we, we haven't there isn't that many top British riders like I race in the top Swedish league the top Polish league 
week in, week out. It's the hardest league in the world and there isn't other any British rider doing that at the moment. For Great Britain to be successful as a team, we need to push forward and help the kids. Me coming down, you know, uh, I've only been home two, three days this week and today I'm here. So like, I've taken time out of my own personal life to come down and, and help these guys out, hoping that every little bit of help that we can give them and that they can improve on is a step in the right direction for the future of Team GB and, and, and British Speedway. I'm hoping that this is going to become an occurring thing and that we can really grow the youth of GB and um, create something special for the not too distant future. Pushing for GB success is something that I've been pushing for, for a long time and it got to the, to the place where it needed to get to and none of my ideas were pushed forward and now it seems that things are actually starting to move in the right direction which is really positive. I'm excited for what the, the future has to hold for, for not only Team GB but for, um, for British Speedway because I believe that the more riders we can have at that top level the bigger the sport will become here in the UK.